Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to the panel Prof Madya Dr Dur Muhammad Sumro and also Dr Nur Hafiza binti Ajikin and also my fellow group mates. My name is Muhammad Hakimi bin Muhammad Murad. My metric number is AE180065 and today I'm going to present about my final year project 1 which is simulation of frequency response due to faulty stator winding. So for the project background for my final year project is I'm going to simulate the faulty stator winding which is located in induction motor. So basically induction motor has many body has many important body parts which is rotor, stator, armature, commutator and brusher. Stator windings can also be introduced as a winding that were, is, that were installed on the stator made of copper wire. Lastly, the stator's primary role is to generate a rotating magnetic field, whereas the rotor primary role is to generate output current by cutting magnetic wire in a rotating magnetic field. So, for the problem statement, is causes of the stator winding fault are basically due to mechanical stress, due to movement of stator coil and rotor striking the stator. They were also thermal stress due to thermal overloading which also the primary cause among the likely explanation. And lastly, the environmental stress, which is too hot, too cold, or too humid. So what I'm going to achieve for my final year project, as my objective is I'm going to simulate the normal and faulty state of winding using RLC circuit. The study continue to compare between simulated measured frequency response for faulty state winding for verification of RLC circuit accuracy. Lastly, it needs to be analyzed the comparison between frequency response of normal and faulty state winding using statistical indicator. So the scope of project contains of simulation of low voltage three phase induction motor, simulation of frequency response between 20 Hz to 2 MHz, state winding from 3 horsepower of 3 phase induction motor simulated of RLC circuit by using MATLAB software. So basically the type of fault that need to be considered in this simulation is phase turn to turn fault, phase to phase turn fault, phase turn to ground fault and also phase coil to ground fault. And the statistical which will be used in this project are correlation coefficient, absolute sum of logarithmic error and root mean square error. So this is the fault of stator winding that need to be considered in this project, which is turn to turn fault, face to face fault, and face to ground fault. Notice that turn to turn fault is occurred between turn to turn of the stator. Face to face fault is occurred between face to face of the stator, and face to ground fault is occurred between face and ground. So. Frequency response analysis is one of the condition monitoring tools currently being developed for power transformer, generator, and induction motor. It also known for technique that allows in detecting small strains which may appear in the windings due to the effect of short circuits during transportation. The frequency response of a winding is unique and it may be used as a fingerprint of the winding under test because it can be described as an equivalent circuit with a compact network of capacitance, inductance, and resistance, or we can call it as RLC circuit. So this is the literature review for my final year project. Basically, it is focusing on frequency response to the induction motor, such as frequency response analysis technique for induction motor, detection of state winding fault in induction motor, using instant 10 years power, a stator fault diagnosis method based on, based on the offline method, evaluation of the capability of frequency response analysis for inter-turn fault, and lastly a literature survey of on frequency response analysis for detection of transformer winding fault. So this is the methodology for my project, which firstly I'm going to discover about the faulty stator winding, then the study continued to perform simulation consists of the normal state of winding and faulty state of winding by using MATLAB software. Then it continued to plot the simulated 
response graph between faulty state to winding and normal winding. Then, the project continued to compare the result between simulation and measure in order to find the accuracy. It also need to cal to be calculated the difference between normal and faulty state winding of simulated frequency response by using statistical indicator which have been mentioned in scope of project. So this is the circuit simulation for three phase induction motor. Notice that this picture has three block diagram which each of the block, block diagram consists of RLC circuit. So this is the circuit that I'm going to run in MATLAB software. So the result and discussion for normal winding response is like this. Basically, this is the comparison between measured and simulated of normal winding response. The blue color represent for the simulated response and the red color represent for the measured response. Then for turn to turn fault, this is the comparison between measured normal response and measured faulty response. And this is the comparison between simulated of normal response and also simulated of faulty response. Notice that it has the slight difference at 10 power of 5 hertz. So next is neutral to ground fault. This is the comparison between measured normal response and measured faulty response. And this is also the simulated of normal response and simulated of faulty response. Notice that it also has the same slight difference at the magnitude at negative 10 dB and also at 10 power of 5 hertz. So next for turn to ground fault, this is the measure of normal response and measure of faulty response. And it is this is the simulated of normal response and simulated of faulty response. Not, so the red color basically represent for the fault condition motor and the blue color represent for the normal condition motor. So at first, the comparison between two response did not have a change. Same just like the simulated response. So lastly, for coil to ground fault, this is the measured normal response and measured faulty response. And this is the simulated of normal response and simulated of faulty response. So it also has a slight difference at here. So basically, that is my result and discussion for my objective one for my final year project one. So that's all from me. Thank you.